Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. And uh, since it's going to be Pentecost this coming Sunday, I would like to talk about the Holy Spirit. Uh, to talk about the Holy Spirit, I would like to share with you uh, one of my favorite TV show is uh, called Victoria. Okay, so it's a, I think it's run by PBS and it talks about the story about Queen Victoria. And there was one scene there that I, I, I really like, and it, it has to do with, uh, uh, and I use that as an analogy with the Holy Spirit. During the time of Queen Victoria, train was invented, okay? So she was brought to see this train, and she was like in awe, like, you know, and she was thinking, how could this big vehicle uh, move forward, right? And uh, so it was shown to her that there was an engine. Of course, there's an engine if there's a fuel, and then the engine will generate this power, in order to move this train and with all the passengers forward, right? And, uh, and, you, and you could apply this to a boat or a, a car or a plane, right? You know, we know how heavy those vehicles are and uh, to include all those passengers, uh, you could just imagine the weight, right? So um, there must be an engine uh, with a fuel that will create a power you know, uh, power greater than the weight of the vehicle and all the passengers in order to have that vehicle move forward. And that is also the same with, with, with the church, okay? When, when Christ was about to leave, um, he's, he, he said in Luke chapter 24, verse 49, it says, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Okay, so he, Jesus knew that the disciples needed a power, you know, for this church to grow and to move forward. So he asked them to wait. So disciples were with Mary and they were in the upper room and waiting and waiting, you know, uh, for, for this power to come. And of course, on Pentecost, we know uh, how it happened, right? Like they received this power from the Holy Spirit. And we see here in, in, in Acts of the Apostles, the, the, the different, the, the significance of this power in the life of the early church. Okay, in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, it says here that uh, uh, before Jesus ascended to heaven, he also said to the disciples, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Okay, so. Um, both Gospel of Luke and Acts of the Apostles have the same author, which is uh, St. Luke, okay? And we see here, I would like you to encourage you to read the Acts of the Apostles, okay? And see the power of the Holy Spirit manifest in, in the life of the, of, of the apostles and the disciples of Jesus Christ. And they were able to do amazing things, right? Uh, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead, they received that power also. So they were able to do what Jesus did. You know, heal the sick, um, deliver people from, from evil possession, uh, raise people back to death, uh, from death. And uh, so they were able to do that, and they were able to, to preach and, uh, with, with conviction, with power, and people were being converted. And we think that, you know, as we read the Acts of the Apostles, thinking that, oh, uh, that was during the early church, and they needed that, you know, for the church to grow. But I'm telling you, we need the, the Holy Spirit even now. Okay, um, more than ever, right? And uh, so we receive the power of the Holy Spirit in baptism and confirmation, but we could ask for more because we're really powerless over sin and death, and we need that power from the Holy Spirit uh, in order to be able to do God's will, you know, to grow in holiness, to become a saint that God calls us to do, uh, called, called us to be, uh, in order also to be able to love and to be able to do the mission that Jesus called us to do okay so imagine this power you know uh, uh, the the power that uh, that we really need in order to move forward in our spiritual life okay so uh, i really encourage you to to really prepare yourself well for this pentecost that's why here at saint mary's we're doing a novena to the holy spirit you could follow us on uh, saint mary's ottawa youtube channel uh, and also this uh, uh, October, uh, May 30, uh, in the evening, Saturday from 7 to 9 p.m., we're doing a Pentecost vigil here where we invited Father Roger Van Den Acker, the General Superior of the Companions of the Cross, the, the community that I belong to. He will be giving a talk 
on why we need the, the fire of the, whole, the, the of a new Pentecost uh, today. Okay, so he's an excellent preacher, so I, I really encourage you to come join us on, on that event on May 30 from 7 to 9 p.m. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph. <laughs>